Fracture Healing Part 1 Fracture Healing Concepts What is Fracture Healing? It is a process in which the body heals and repairs the broken bone. Requirement for bone healing number one is vascularity. That means you need sufficient blood supply. You could have the nutrient artery which supplies 80% of the cortex or the preosteal vessels which supplies the outer 20% of the cortex. The metaphyseal vessels have a very much rich blood supply. That's why the metaphysis heal faster. The fracture stimulates the release of growth factors that attract stem cells. The stem cells promote angiogenesis, vasodilatation, and the healing of the bone. Blood flow increases at the fracture site. Metaphysis heals faster than the diaphysis because of rich blood supply. After we reduce the fracture, we need the second most important thing, which is adequate mechanical stability of the fracture. This stability of the fracture is achieved by a variety of techniques. It could be a cast, a rod, an external fixture, or a blade and the screws. Adequate stability promotes revascularization of the fracture. Proper stabilization is needed to prevent deformity and non-union at the fracture site. Excessive motion will interrupt the development of the new bone. Complication of fracture healing. Possible deformities at the fracture site. Fracture shortening. Some shortening may be acceptable. However, excessive shortening may need to be corrected. Fractured non-union. Bone fails to heal after a reasonable period of time. The fracture remains tender, painful, especially when stressed or with movement. Valgus deformity. The distal part of the limb deviates away from the center of the body. Varus deformity. The distal part of a limb deviates towards the center of the body. The physicians should be aware of these basic concepts of fracture healing. Every attempt should be made to avoid complications. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.